Hey everybody, this is Tara Freet, listing specialist on the Front Door Realty team. And today I wanted to talk to you about a few more home seller questions that I ran into recently. And they're a little bit more of the renovation and market readiness focused. So the first question is coming from Helen and Helen was asking, my house doesn't have any AC. Should I put something in before I list it on the market? And Helen, that's a good question because um, there are a lot of homes in our area that do not have air conditioners, even new construction. A lot of them are only AC ready. So when you're thinking about preparing an existing home, to put on the market and you don't have any air conditioning, that's something where I just wanted to, would wanna come over and talk to you about it because it depends on a lot of different factors. Most of the time, uh, if it's in the summer or spring or starting to get some hot weather, it would probably be a good idea to do something, but we'll talk about your budget and see what other renovations may be more important before we just go ahead and make the decision to put the money into the air conditioner if it could be spent better elsewhere. All right, the next question's from Marie and she was wanting to know if she should put in new carpet because she said her carpet is older and worn and she was wondering if she should just go ahead and put in new carpet or leave a credit towards the next buyer so that they could choose their own. And uh, my answer to that is gonna be different based on, again, your property condition and what other things need to be done. But if the carpet is worn enough where there's some tears or some missing part, uh, parts of the carpet, that could be a financing issue. So you may not be able to wait until after closing to repair that, depending on what type of financing the buyer is using. So again, I just would wanna talk to you about what are your ultimate goals? How much of a budget do you have to put into your home? And is the condition poor enough that we need to do it so that we can open up the buyer pool for you to allow all financing types and encourage more offers so that you can get a higher price when you sell. Okay, my last question for the day comes from Anthony and Anthony was just talking to me about some of his concerns about selling his house. He just doesn't know where to start. So that was kind of his main question. My house needs help, where do I start? So in that type of a scenario, I would always want to come and talk to you again about your goals. As you can see, there's a consistent theme here. It's, it's about your goals and your needs. We have to talk about your situation, see what finances you have in line. But in this scenario where it sounds like there's a lot of things that need to be addressed, I would need to know what type of budget you have and also see the exact condition of the property so that we can allocate whatever budget you have to get market ready to the most important things that are gonna make the most impact. There's no reason for you to spend unnecessary money on certain items that wouldn't bring you a good return. So that's why you hire me. I'll come over and talk to you about it and make sure that we're getting all of those dollars spent in the best use to bring in the maximum return for you. So thanks for joining me today. And if you are a homeowner and you have any questions about what might be the best use of your budget to get your home ready to sell, give me a call at 360-787-6229 or you can call us at Front Door Realty anytime. We're always happy to be a resource for you to help you get started. You can't get started if you don't have the right information. And so our goal is to always help educate any home seller and home buyer for that matter to make sure that you feel informed and comfortable to get your own real estate journey started. This is Tara Freet, listing specialist on the Front Door Realty team, and I hope you have a great day.